guys if you're wondering about today's video today's video we're going to talk about how to make the footage of your canon usm even better so let's get started so we're here in the sakaida park while we look for some ajisai flowers or the hydrangeas and roses we're going to talk about the camera settings and also the mov settings to get squeeze out the quality out of the canon esm shooting in 1080p 14 bits so let's get started guys so the first thing we got to talk about the most important thing to improve the quality of our Canon EOS M is our camera settings now the camera settings I have right now in the Canon EOS M is the 1080p or the 3x3 uh, mode and that's the mode we really want to get improving because it allows us to shoot in 14-bit mode which is very important in a weather like today where it's really hazy after a rainy day and actually speaking of rainy the rainy season is coming along so we're not gonna have a lot of beautiful sunny days so i'm just making do with what i have and we'll see we'll try to squeeze the most quality out of the usm shooting in 14 bits going into magic lantern into the 1080p mode we're gonna make a couple few adjustments you want to make sure that you're in 14 bits also three by two aspect ratio to get the most pixels out of the this resolution as well as the frame rate now this is very important we want to make sure we're in 30 frames per second and right now yes we're shooting in the 30 frames per second now my shutter is uh, uh double the speed so you want to be like around 160th of a second or maybe even 120th that's what i'm shooting on right now and in post we can actually slow this down to 80 percent and it gives us really in the smooth 24p timeline this is great for B rolls. But for today's video, we're just gonna leave everything at 30 frames per second so we can see what it all looks like in a 30 frame per second timeline. As far as the Canon EOS M, those are all the settings we wanna make. And also the white balance. Right now we're shooting in the daylight, so I'm at 5400 Kelvin. Let's go ahead and give you some more footage of these settings that we have. And next we'll talk about the MLV settings. So let's get. Yo guys, we're getting some amazing images out of the Canon ESM shooting in 1080p with 14 bits. We're really pulling out a lot of great colors as you can see behind me. It's just looking beautiful. Even though this is a really gray, hazy day, we have literally no blue sky whatsoever. Now, before we get started with the MOB app, there's a couple of warnings I have to give you. If you really wanna go through this, there are two important things that you gotta keep in mind. And that is that these settings are really gonna push your hardware hard. Even with my M1 MacBook Pro with 16 gigs of RAM and just eight cores of CPU and 14 cores of GPU, even with all that, it struggles to encode all of this uh, footage. Keep that in mind that you need some really good hardware and time before we get started. Now, if you're okay with all those cons, then let's get started with the MOV settings.
right, so let's get started with the MOV app. First thing you want to do is open up the settings. There, there are a couple of choices that we could choose between the codec and personally, I like Apple ProRes and any of the variants or the different uh, levels of quality is fine. I personally just stick with the 422. Doesn't matter which one you want, but you could choose Apple ProRes or if you're on Windows or if you prefer the HDNR, I believe it's called. I don't use it so often, so I don't remember the exact name of that codec. Any of those two will do just fine. And also the resolution, you could check the to upscale to 3840 resolution leave the lock on so keep the proper aspect ratio but that's just to upscale to 4k now if again you're limited with hardware i wouldn't check that if you want to just uh, make the export a little faster just leave it at the native 1080p resolution will be just fine you can't really tell much of a difference but the quality upgrade is there. Scaling does a great job with, MLV does a great job with scaling. So if you have the hardware to do it, check that as well. Don't forget the most important one is the smooth alias and you really wanna check that. And personally, one pass has worked perfectly fine. Now there's some scenarios that it will create some artifacts. I don't know if it's the plugin working and gets confused with the footage, but it creates some artifacts. So keep an eye on that maybe another setting in the aliasing will work better but personally one pass has done 90 percent of the job perfectly fine and of course you want to export the audio that's it for the settings on the mlv let's go to the actual editing in mlv and see what we have to do there to improve the quality of 1080p First thing you wanna do is that chroma smooth. You wanna put it at three by three or maybe a five times five. You really have problems with some edges or something. Overall, generally three times three will do work just fine. The vertical stripes, now that's more for like when you're shooting in the one times three mode, meaning the um, anamorphic style, the 4.2Ks and the 4.5K, 4.8K you'll probably need to set vertical stripes, but I usually leave it just at normal or just off. Next, head over to the profile and presets, and I stick with two profiles. I either do Log C, the Alexa Log C, or the Sony S Log 3. Those two are my favorites on that app, and I, they work great with the lots that I use, such as the Utopia Phantom Lunt. They work great with those two profiles. Next is the Sharpen. I don't want to go over 10, so you want to stick really low or if not, leave it at zero. So that way in DaVinci, you could sharpen it up, but I want to get a nice sharp log image from the start, so I leave it at 10. And lastly is the chromatic aberration, desaturate the threshold. I crank that up to 100, and that really cleans up all that chromatic aberration around the edges and really makes our footage look super clean. So. With all those settings, um, the smooth aliasin in the MLB app setting, as well as the uh, chroma smooth and the chromatic aberration desaturation, those three settings really clean up 1080p and make it look really nice. And that's about it, guys. Um, all you have to do is copy all the settings. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you're gonna copy and export your settings, you wanna make sure that if you have other footages shot in different modes, you wanna uncheck transformation because you don't wanna affect the aspect ratio of the other clips. So make sure that's unchecked when you're gonna paste all the settings to other clips. But if all your clips are shot in the same mode, then you could leave that check and it won't affect anything. So that's it. That's how we squeeze the quality out of this EOS M. And all that is left to do is just export everything and import it into whatever linear editor you're using. Personally, I'm using DaVinci Resolve. It's free, it works fantastic, and yeah, it supports lots. So I could use my Phantom Utopia lots there and just really get some amazing footage. I hope you guys enjoy uh, what we shot today, uh, the tutorial as well. And if you found this video beneficial, educational, you can support me. You can show your appreciation by smashing that like button, sharing it so other people like us trying to make the best use of the tech we have can benefit more or can improve the footage of using their EOS M. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys on the next video. Happy shootings.